but coach, two close matches this past weekend. Uh, it looks like your team's playing pretty well. Yeah, we played well yesterday. It was a tough loss for us. That one hurt a lot, but uh, we felt like we had it going in to the second set of singles. We'd won the doubles point. It was tight. Uh, won four out of six of the singles first sets, and then um, they started playing a little better, and uh, we ended up just getting two out of the six singles and losing the 4-3, so it was a tough loss for us, but I think we're going to learn from it and, uh, and get better, so hopefully it'll motivate us to work even harder the next couple weeks and, and get ready for these upcoming matches that we've got. How about uh, returner Victor Alps going 4-0 and on the weekend? Yeah, yeah, that's a big result for him. I didn't realize he'd won all four, but he's been working hard. He's gotten a lot better up at the net and really worked on his transition game a lot. And uh, he's starting to come into to his own here. I mean, he's he's playing some of the best tennis I've seen him play over the last four or five days. So hopefully he'll continue that. Nickel State uh, on Tuesday. It's the start of conference play. How important is that? Oh, it's huge. I mean, that's a big, big match for us. They're one of the top teams in our conference. They've had a good win. They seem a little bit streaky. Uh, not not sure what they're doing with their lineup, but they uh, they're a good team. They're talented and uh, and they'll be dangerous. And finally, it's your third match in five days, and you go from a night match to a day match to a morning match. It, does fatigue become a factor at all? I wouldn't say fatigue becomes a factor necessarily because we've had a day in between. So I, I think we'll be fine there. I think um, I think if you play back to back or three three days in a row, that fatigue then comes into the, the pitcher, but. Now we've got a day rest in between, so we're good.